Hi everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass and I am a targeted human being. Uh, what we're looking at here is a magnified with a microscope piece of a scab that came out of my nose. Now, why should you care? Well, uh, what I'm looking at is clearly some sort of diffraction pattern that is being generated when light is put through the material that is now pervading my body. Um, I know this is not the best picture to capture this and it's difficult to keep my microscope in phase and focus and but <clears throat> I think it should be plain to see for people that there are patterns there black lines millions of little lines. It's very difficult to see with this, but you can almost see them resolving there. They're black lines, many, many, many black lines, uh, all in, in patterns, interference patterns. Uh, as the light goes through it, it diffracts it, which means these patterns must be very small, and they must interfere with photons in some way to produce these interference patterns. Now, <clears throat> what that tells me is that uh, some material has been made into our bodies put into our bodies that's a hair by the way and you can see how the hair is hollow and also has those lines in it it's very hard to keep this stuff in You can see the patterns um, at the different focal depths. I mean, it's quite clear to me. It looks like a, a universe as you scan through it. But if you notice, those are diffraction patterns. Those are interference patterns created by photons from the light source being put through an organic diffraction grating. An organic diffraction grating that has been incorporated into every cell in my body as far as I can tell, or at least the epithelial cells of my skin. Um, the only reason you would get this, this interference pattern is through some sort of diffraction or polarization grating. Now, if it, all right, I'm losing the microscope now. If it, if it interferes with photons, then perhaps it is tuned to resonate at a particular uh, electromagnetic or scalar frequency. Um, this is some groundbreaking stuff here, uh, and I know my microscope is not the best, but it does allow you to at least get an idea and you can see that the pattern changing. This only happens with a diffraction grating. 
Why would I have a diffraction grating inside of my cells? I don't know, but I can guess. If you compare the cells in my body to an RFID tag, what that means is that when a particular energy frequency or radiation pattern is applied to me, these little lines will interfere with it in a very particular way and the resulting output a reflection would be uh, whatever was put into it plus or minus whatever spectral information is added or subtracted through the interferometry in other words I am marked like an RFID tag genetically and in every cell I wish I had a, a better microscope so you could see exactly what I'm talking about, but it's quite clear to me, having played with light and lasers and diffraction gratings and polarization, etc., I recognize this as diffraction pattern and uh, rainbows are made when light is diffracted and split into its colors now light is an electromagnetic uh, it's a photon in a wave at a particular frequency in the nanometer scale which means that these lines may be patterned in a nanometer pattern or something. I don't know, it's hard to tell. I have a very high magnification but a very crappy microscope. Um, but you can see, although it looks like the Hubble Space Telescope, clearly the diffraction pattern. And if you move the source of light, the resulting rainbow emanations change uh, shape and direction based on the light. Now, if you put a radio frequency signal to this uh, particular bandwidth, it would interfere in the same way that an RFID tag does when you walk through that scanner thing. It is tuned to pick up just those tags. And I believe that the treatment I've received, the more gallons, the nanotechnology, etc., has built these possibly uh, carbon or uh, graphene based but I don't know uh, diffraction gratings into my cells and if one is to look at uh, nano optical resonators and nano optic modulators and terahertz microwave imaging nano devices you will find um, very similar technology uh, being used, uh, resonating, uh, frequency matched, uh, current flow, uh, anyway, that's uh, enough said about this. It's quite clear that my scab is has all these tiny lines in it, and I wondered, why does my blood have rainbows? Well, I think now I figured it out because I have been implanted, infected, transfected with a viral vector genetic manipulation in order to change my cells to build this material into me so that I am now trackable via uh, photonic or radio scalar emissions. Um, thank you for watching, and God bless you all.